In a remote village located between Everest Mountain, there lived an old cobbler named Jacob. Known for his skill with leather and his kind heart, Jacob would repair shoes for the villagers, often taking whatever they could afford as payment. One day, a wealthy merchant passing through noticed Jacob's worn-out tools and humble workshop. Old man, the merchant scoffed, you could earn so much more if you used better tools and charged higher prices. Why do you persist in such poverty? Jacob smiled gently and replied, My friend, wealth is not measured by what I possess, but by the joy in my heart and the lives I touch. I am content with what I have. The merchant, intrigued yet unconvinced, decided to test Jacob's resolve. He offered to buy Jacob's shop and tools for a handsome sum. With this money, the merchant proposed, you can retire comfortably and never worry about shoes again. Jacob pondered for a moment, then shook his head. No, sir. My tools are my craft, and my craft is my joy. Money cannot buy that. Undeterred, the merchant pressed on. He offered Jacob bags of gold coins, enough to live luxuriously for the rest of his days. Surely you can't refuse this, the merchant urged. But Jacob remained steadfast. I appreciate your generosity, but wealth gained at the expense of one's principles is no wealth at all. My riches lie in the smiles of those who walk comfortably because of my work. Impressed by Jacob's unwavering integrity, the merchant left the village with a newfound respect. He realized that true wealth wasn't just about hoarding gold, but enriching lives and finding fulfillment in one's purpose. Years passed, and Jacob continued to mend shoes for his neighbors. Though he never became wealthy by worldly standards, his heart overflowed with the richness of contentment and the joy of service. His workshop became a place where stories were shared, burdens were lightened, and faith in humanity restored. And so, the legend of Jacob the cobbler spread far and wide, not for his wealth in gold, but for his wealth in spirit, a lesson that money, though necessary, pales in comparison to a life well lived with love, compassion, and unwavering faith. Thank you for watching. What moral lesson do you learn from this story? Please drop it in the comments section. See you in our next video. God bless you.